Ever play a game of chess and think, man, this is fun, but you know what this game could use? A 10 minute cutscene that I can't skip. Me neither. Welcome to the best show in the universe, I'm Maddox. There are things that I like and dislike about modern gaming, but one thing I never really understood were stories. Are they really necessary? Does anyone even remember them or care after the first playthrough? One of the most famous stories in all of gaming is from the original Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo Entertainment System. The story can be summarized in just three words, save the princess. Or if you want to be minimalist, it can be summarized in just one word, win. It's not even a story so much as an objective. And even then, the story is irrelevant because you're not told why you're playing when you first start the game. In fact, here's how the game starts. And yet, in spite of a complete lack of story, Super Mario Bros. went on to become one of the best-selling games of all time. That's because it relied on the strengths of the platform and didn't try to be something it's not, a movie. Super Mario Bros. 2 even had less of a story. Without pausing this video to look it up, can you recall what the story was? Here's a hint. No, you can't. Here's the actual story which nobody remembers or cares about. Free Dreamland from a bad guy named Wart. That's it. No long, drawn-out cutscenes or hours of bullshit exposition. They just let you turn on the system and get on with the game. Stories make sense in certain video games, like in role-playing games. In fact, role-playing games probably wouldn't be as fun without the stories in them, because those games rely on character traits that you build throughout the adventure. But for some reason, every developer decided to include this one aspect from this one genre of gaming in every other video game. Why did developers suddenly decide that every game needed to borrow this one element from role-playing games, and why this one specific genre? Why not add a sports element, for example? Why don't we just start adding basketball to every video game? Or how about a Dance Dance Revolution stage? Sure, fuck it, why not? It makes about as much sense as adding a story. One of the earliest examples of unnecessary storytelling in video games comes from Pac-Man. For some reason, just when you're starting to get into the rhythm of the game, which is mostly an abstract exercise in maze solving, they decided to interrupt the flow with a stupid cutscene. Good job, Namco. You really know how to spin a good yarn. One of the most egregious examples of superfluous storytelling in video games comes from the PlayStation 2 title, Tetris World. Your mission is to open the Tetrions on the other side so that we can evacuate safely before our world is destroyed. Yes. They took a game that was purely abstract and hugely successful as is, and then they added a story to it, because apparently, the lack of personality given to the blocks was causing people to stop playing and wonder, what's my motivation? There's a game I picked up on PS3 a few years ago called Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. I decided to conduct a little experiment to see if I could play through the entire game without reading any of the story. I limited myself to reading on-screen prompts and text messages on my cell phone when I got up to take a shit. <laughs> I put 14 hours into the game and nearly finished it without giving a single solitary fuck about the people of Amalur or any of the elves or how badly some fairy wanted me to save her fucking child. It felt refreshing and I felt like a better person for not helping these losers. Just talk to him and I'm sure he'll be able to shed some light on the issue. Sorry losers, you need to get your shit together and save your own fucking kingdom. I don't play games for the stories. I play games for the games. I barely give enough of a shit about stories and movies I watch because a lot of movies out there suck dick. And that's when filmmakers are actually trying to tell a good story. Directors try hard to make good movies and fail all the time. What hope do video game developers have? Many of them aren't even experienced storytellers, so the long, drawn-out movie they're forcing you to watch inside a video game is like being waterboarded with molasses. <laughs> And what's worse is that some developers make the cutscenes impossible to skip. Hey dickhead, I paid for the game, so I should be able to skip whatever the fuck I want. If you don't let me skip your cutscenes, then guess what? I'm just gonna skip your entire video game. Here's a true story. I've actually turned off a game in the middle of a cutscene, deleted my save file, and never turned it on again. Fuck you. The average age of a gamer is 31 years old. 31. That means that we have jobs, families, and shit to do. Your precious stories aren't that important. Get over yourselves. If I can't have a meaningful gameplay experience within 10 minutes of turning on the system, I'm gonna turn it off and do something else. Another annoying trend in modern gaming is random character babble. For example, in Last of Us, any time you walk through a corridor or explore a level, Ellie and Joel will randomly say scripted, irrelevant things, or they'll talk about how they'd rather be doing something else. Ah, oh, I can't wait to get out of this place. 
Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, this place stinks. Tell me where to go. Uh, I hate this crap. Yeah, me too. Just imagine if older video games like Mega Man did this. Oh man, I'm so hungry. All these bees are reminding me of honey. I wish I had some honey right now. Remember when people played video games because they were fun? What's missing in modern gaming is just that, gaming. Stop trying to shove your expensive, ham-fisted stories into our games and stop trying to be a movie. Miss Pac-Man isn't about love, and Super Mario Brothers isn't about the princess. It's time to put the games back into video games. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Maddox. PlayStation 2 title, Tetris Worlds. Got, by the way, guys, this is such a piece of shit, this game. Like, it's, it's one of the worst games I've ever played.